Greetings from the right coast. This is Mad Shad. What are we going to talk about today? My favorite subject. Me. <laughs> it is official. I'm going to Cleveland. Stick on the lake. Yes, it is done. I am there. Well, I'm not there yet, but... Leaving on a jet plane. Don't know when I'll be back again. Well, actually, I will be back. So I'm going to fly up there and check out the, the place. And come back. And get the ball rolling. Bug out for real. All this beautiful beautiful place see ya <laughs> yep that's what's going on I got had interviews yesterday phone interviews like a conference call or whatever you call it and then uh, later on today we talk to more people and more owners and more stuff and get it all get it all finalized and uh, yeah. <laughs> get it all finalized He's like, yeah, well, you know, whenever you're ready, we'll just uh, we'll go ahead and uh, get you, a, get you a plane ticket to head out there. He's like, no, I'm driving. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> like, yeah, I'm driving, man. I'm driving. I'm loading up a U-Haul full of stuff, full of preps and gear. Selling my vehicle here, and then uh. Uh, empty it out my storage unit full of preps preps and gear and off to Cleveland I go <coughs> and that's what's up that's what's up where what I gotta feed these guys again. Second breakfast. <laughs> Where, where's your? Where's your? Uh, here it is. What? 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 Get some. Get some. Yummy. Yummy. Cheery. Where's this Callie at? There she is. Hey, want some of this? <laughs> I know you do. You don't want it? It's up to you. If you don't eat it, somebody else will. All right, I'll tell you what. I'll leave you three. How about that? Mm. Yeah, so. I'm, I'm doing the dang. I'm doing the damn thing. Yeah. It's great, you know. One door opens. One door closes, another door opens, right? So, I get to go uh, help the owner. So, it's, it's funny that the mag has disbanded, but, you know, I'll be, uh, I'll be, I'll be closer to the, uh, I even, I even found out I got family. I called my mom, told her the news. She's like, what? She's like, oh yeah, you got an aunt there. You got an aunt, some cousins, a bunch of people there. I'm like, I didn't know these people. <laughs> you know, moms, they know those things, you know. They know those things. They're like, oh yeah, so-and-so and so-and-so. I was like, hey, call them. Tell them I'm coming. You know, so. It's kind of exciting. <laughs> <clears throat> I had family down here. But, you know, it's just, you know how families go, man. They just, you know, 
is like whatever. But going there, I, I like this idea. I really do. Uh oh. Go ahead. Get it, Cherry. Get it. Go ahead, get it. She don't want it. She's full. They had a they had an amazing breakfast this morning. And uh yeah. I, I don't I don't really eat breakfast. I, I drink breakfast. Mine's a cafe bustello. And some hot cocoa. That's that's what I that's what, that's my breakfast. <laughs> Then when I'm done with that, I eat a little something and take all my supplements, and I'm at it. Yeah, this job, it's, it's, it's a small-time operation, uh, and, uh, you know, it's, it's laborious, but I've been doing labor all my life, you know? Ain't nobody in there under, under 30. All old folks like me, old, uh, old, tough old men with old man strength. And so, you know, that's what's up. We all kind of watch each other's backs. The, 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 the location of the plan is a hardened structure already in the middle of Cleveland. I mean, I know that's problematic, but, you know, it, it's, it's in a, a run down, just beat up nothing there town in the port, port part of the town you know, it's, and they said that they, they've been there for years and nothing's ever happened of course you know the day I show up <laughs> and uh it was funny I was talking to them and they said you got any questions I was like yeah I, I hear that Cleveland's a pretty rough town you know uh and uh and all this and that I mean how rough is it I mean I mean because I, I I grew up in the ghetto and I've, I've been in a ghetto, and hell, I've been all over the world and seen ghettos. I've seen worse than ghettos. Uh, so, you know, when you tell me that's, that this place is bad, I'm a pretty good judge of how bad a place is. You know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> you know, I, I've, seen some, I've seen some pretty rough places. Uh, pretty rough places. So... You tell me, you tell me this por por portion of Cleveland is bad, then I'm gonna have to see about that. But he's like, yeah, you know, it's it's okay. We've never had any problems, you know. I was like, that's good, that's good, you know, because I, I really don't want to hurt nobody. I really don't. I, I don't want to. I don't want to have to snatch a motherfucker up. You know what I'm saying? Because then you go to jail, or you know, then then it's this. And then they hunch your ass and you know for days on end and you know you you snatch one motherfucker up and next day there's two and snatch them up next day it's three next day it's four somebody pulls a gun or a knife i mean it's just you know it, it just it escalates so you know uh but you know they they had a chuckle about that <laughs> like, okay <laughs> all right i think you'll be fine you know, and that's the way it is. You know, you, you think about it. You know, you're, you're dealing with folks that that they they want to do some meanness. They want to do they 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 trying to run the con on you, and and they're always going to come at you with intimidation. You know, they they might come out. Hey hey brother, you got a cigarette? You got a, you got a lighter? You got you got you got some money? You got a quarter? You got a dollar? Oh, yeah, yeah, sure, as soon as you turn your head down, because we all do that, you turn your head down and look, here, let me get that for you, whap, you get smacked, so, you know, I'm as, I'm as, uh, helpful as the next person, I really am, you know, I see somebody in trouble, I'm going to help them, and I have, many times over, you know, I drove up on scenes, and, you know, had scenes unfold in front of me, and, and I've had to, I've had to get involved and and de-escalate, but uh, defuse the situation. But you know, <coughs> when you're when you're getting when you're getting hunted like that, you're getting targeted, and you're you're the mark. You know, you, you just don't see it coming. 
Uh, so you just got to be like, no. <laughs> I, I've, I've done it. I've done it here, you know, because we got, we got homeless. We got, we got homeless people. We got, we got, we got undesirable, you know, motherfuckers trying to do you wrong and, you know, trying to, trying to run some kind of game on you. And as soon as they walk up, I go, no. And they're just like, but, but, no. Okay. And they walk away. They, 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 just, they don't say nothing. You know, they just like, damn, this motherfucker just shut me down with one word. You know, because they want to, they want to, man, what, what the fuck's your problem? No. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. All the cats and dogs are looking at me like, what I do? What I do? No, no, no. You're, you're good. I'm just, you know, just me. Just me being mad. Being crazy. So... Uh, how, how you deal with folks, you know, cause they're going to try to feel you out. You know, they're going to watch you. you know, look, at this, look at this motherfucker. I bet he's got something. I bet he's got something I can get. And it's, it's, it's extreme poverty there. It's, it's, you know, it's all kinds of stuff going on. They had some riots there last year. You know. I don't know if M. Queef is up in there. I mean... But <laughs> who knows? Maybe I'll make a video. <laughs> <coughs> How to defuse and es de escalate the situation. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Hopefully, it'll be all good. Hopefully, it's just I go to work, I get shit done, and boom, I'm out the door and I got a paycheck. You know? And it sounds like. You know, it's it sounds like something that that I could get into, you know, because uh, I I just like to I just like to dive in. My work ethic is is it's crazy, you know. I'm extremely loyal, I'm extremely loyal, and I'm tenacious and uh, and serpentitious. So you know, I li I like to do things. I I like to go hard. I do. I like I like to go hard in the work. And, uh, so, but you got to be careful because you hurt yourself, then you're out of work, you know? So you got to be careful. There, there's like, there's like this fine line. And when you get older, that line gets a little bit more thinner, you know, and it's, it's more, it's more defined, you know, you, you bend over to pick something up and raise up. And you're like, Oh shit. Oh, Oh, good Lord. You know, you, that's it. You're done. You know? And, you know, a job's, especially in a job, in a plan or whatever, you know, it's, it's they're always like, it's been 33,000 days since our last incident until you showed up, you know. <laughs> Around here, they had this saying that uh, if you're painting on a ladder and you fall off the ladder, you're fired before you hit the ladder. You're fired before you hit the ground. So, <laughs> you know how it is. But... Good bunch of guys. It sounds like a good, uh, good operation. You know, it's 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 a small operation, so they're very they're very uh, uh, picky about who they let in. So they vet you. They vet they vet the hell out of you. I gave him my channel. I was like, check me out. You guys want to know what I know what I sound like, know what I see, know, know what I look like, and 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 all that. So you know, there you go. I mean, my my life's an open book anyway. You know, just be careful of what you ask. <laughs> uh, I, I I try not to I try not to share so much because a lot of it can be a little shocking. Uh, so I, I apologize to uh, prepping outside the box. <laughs> uh, but uh, with, with this War Game Wednesday. <coughs> <coughs> Gotta get out of this thing, man. This, this air in here is just rough. Right, Charity? Was that right? I'm okay. Yeah, I'm okay. Yeah. You okay? So yeah, they like this, uh, they like the front of the cab. It, it gets like 80, as soon as that sun pops up, boom. The rest of the cab, I mean, I got cold last night. Um, I still got the heater running. And, uh. I can get it up to 60, 65, 
and then we all wrap up in blankets and shit. But as soon as that sun pops up and I open up these uh these 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 curtains, these moldy ass curtains, that sun hits that damn windshield and it get, it's it's literally I've, I've got a thermometer. It goes up to 80, 80 degrees right there. You know, so you see everybody's everybody's just kind of hanging out, enjoying the sun. Yeah. So there's one in the background. He, he's like, screw you guys. I'm gonna I'm just gonna chill. They've already had their breakfast. You know, and breakfast is a big thing here, so, uh, yeah, so, <laughs> and so the owner himself is going to feed the animals and watch them, because I'm only going to be gone for like a day or two, that's it, I'm going I'm to leave early in the morning, get, jump on a flight, fly up there, they're going to pick me up at the airport, take me to the plant. Walk around, talk to me, do some shit, whatever, you know, a little meet and greet, and then they're gonna take me back or you know whatever, you know, maybe see the see the sights, see see Cleveland, see the living situation, cause they got they're gonna give me an apartment for a month free. It's like what? Really? So wow, okay, all right, uh. And it's and it's uh, what I've been told is it's a it's a, a working man's area, kind of like where I used to live. So they ain't, they ain't a lot of bullshit going on, you know. Working man's ghetto. Or I have the option of of upgrading, and getting the uh, getting the uh, the nice apartment for fifteen hundred dollars. I don't know about all that, but uh, <laughs> I just want to stay in a little apartment. I might have to put stuff in storage. You know, uh, up there, and then just just gather my resources, and then get out, uh, get out away from from, from Cleveland. So I, I don't want to be in no big city. And from what I understand, Cleveland is a is a dying city. Uh, it's called the Mistake on the Lake. You know, they 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 built it there, and then a bunch of people came, and they said, "Oh no, this ain't good," and they left. <laughs> a uh, bunch of businesses but they have like done they've revamped all the parks and and all the, the there's all kinds of hiking trails and all kinds of stuff like that uh, um, and it is a open carry state from what I hear Ohio is an open carry state you can just walk around with your gun like just gunslinger the gunslinger law yeah uh, I don't really enjoy that I don't, I don't agree with that but you know it's a hell of a deterrent you're either a target or you're a deterrent. So, you know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know about all that. I mean, uh, I don't know. Probably look into CWP there. I, I don't know. I, I've had mine here so long that, I don't know. I have to check on that and see if, they're, see if the laws are reciprocatory, reciprocatory. I don't think they are. I, I think our laws, our reciprocatory laws, are, are with Tennessee, North Carolina, and Georgia, and Florida. I think I think Florida's in there too. Uh, so, but but there is a lot of reciprocatory, reciprocatory laws. If I would have thought about it and got the uh, got the Utah uh, carrying concealed permit, it's reciproc reciprocatory with all the states, from what I understand. So I should have done that, and you don't have to live there. Crazy, huh? Uh, but. Just, just talking about all this, man. Just, just got, got my gears, gears moving. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm greasing the gears right now. In my coffee. Uh, but uh, yeah, get up there, get some land. I don't know where should I go. I like the idea of the lakes. I, I don't know how populated it is around the lakes. Uh, I know it gets fucking cold up there, like land of the ice and snow. But hey, that's you know I kind of I kind of dig that. <coughs> I kind of dig it. I've been I've been baking in the sun here for too long, since 1998, 94, 98. Well, I started coming here recreationally for 94, 98 when I was in the Marine Corps, and then I stayed moved in. 2000. So I've been here fucking 20, 
almost 20 years. Yeah, 20 years. Oh, shit. Ugh. It's time. It's time to go. It's time to get out of here. I, I thought I could make a, make a go of it here, but I'm just, I'm just an idiot. But, uh, Cleveland, Ohio, it's a start. Got my foot in the door. And, uh, and you know, if, if, if I just can't make it there, then I bounce. I go to something else. But I, I think I'm going to stick around here. I have to. I mean, I'm freaking 47 years old and getting old, you know. You got to think about that, too. I mean, how old are you and how, how, how beat up are you? Uh, I'm going to use this job as an opportunity to get strong. I mean, I'm already strong, but, you know, get the supplements. And, cause I, you know, it, it involves, like, picking up 50-pound bags and, you know, moving them about 1,500 times. Yeah, they said they said a good day you'll run about 1,500 pounds to, you know, 2,500 pounds, you know, of 50-pound of bags a day. Like, all right, yeah, okay, yeah. I got a back brace and all that, and there's technique, but <laughs> we'll see what's up. <clears throat> but what is it? what you looking at? She's going. Yeah, you are. So yeah, she going, she going, she going to Cleveland. <laughs> cats can't go, man. Cats can't go. I mean, can you imagine me? Three cats and a dog in a U-Haul going ten hours. Psh, man, it'd be crazy. It would be nuts. So I mean, unfortunately, I gotta find a way. I gotta find a home for these guys. I really do. <sighs> um, I haven't even plotted my course yet. But I know I got to go west, uh, and then go go north. I think. I don't know. I don't know. Or do I just hit ninety five and then take then go west? I don't know. I have to look at that. But I think if I'm going to be on the lake, I'm going to need a I'm going to need a a boat. Something. <laughs> Talk about a bug out. You know, maybe I could live on a boat. That's my idea before coming here. It was giving me a boathouse and a, and a motorcycle. And there you go. Go from go from port to call, port to call, port to call, and then just get out and ride your motorcycle everywhere you want to go. <laughs> you know, get your shit done. So yeah, I mean it's. There we go. It's a done deal. Try to try to figure that all out. I've already figured it out. That's the thing. I've already done it in my head. So you know, and now it's just the uh, now it's just the the formalities. You know, the the details. Uh, so I don't know what time it is. I gotta go about ten thirty or eleven here and do some work and uh, do some work for the man at storage unit. Help him out. And uh hell yeah. I think it's gonna work out. Oh well, I'm gonna make it work out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I dig it. I dig it. Oh yeah, so you gotta get your preps to go. And that's another thing. Think about that. You know, is 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 what if you had a mass exodus out of your place? You know, like something happened bad. Like like here there was a fucking tsunami, a tsunami with sharks, and 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 it's six hundred feet tall and. Moving at 500 miles per hour, which you know they talked about this. You know, there's a there's a a volcano on the Canary Islands that the that the mountain is going to slide into. That they know it is. At some point, it's going to slide into the ocean and I'm going to displace all this water and send a massive tidal wave across the Atlantic Ocean, hitting us. You know, South Carolina, the right coast. 
the right coast will be underwater all the way up to Columbia, which is hundreds of miles inland. Uh, total de total desta total de devastation. You know what? What if you know freaking meteors just started? You had a meteor shower, and and, and everything is just exploding and and boom, 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 and nuclear fallout. You know, say uh say one of them ICBMs let loose, and you know gets gets pot right here. What 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 if some kind of contagion? A serious contagion comes out, you know, anthrax or something. It's, it's tainted the whole land and, and everything's dying and everything is, is, is toxic. You know, you don't know these things. So mass exodus. Uh, well, well, how would you do that? How would you just like, well, I mean, even though you say, well, I'm just going to stay. I have to stay. I'm going to stay. No, you can't. The air is tainted. The, the, the you know, the rain is, is, is poison. You can't, you cannot stay. If you stay, you will die. So you got to think about that. Even though you're thinking, I'm going to stay here till I die. Well, I mean, that's that's if that's your resolve, then that's that's your resolve. Uh, I can't tell you that. You know, but if if you had the if you had the wherewithal to say, well, okay, all right, great. Uh, I, I got to gather up my resources, and I got a mass exodus west. Uh, you know. This has happened in our in our history. Um, so, uh, what do you do? How do you do it? You know, it's 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 a bit of a logistical nightmare, uh, especially if you're if you're working with you know a little little time frame. Uh, especially if you're in the middle of the event. Um, so, EMP and everything here is dead. You know, everything everything in the in a 500 mile radius is is done is fried you know but right outside that 500 mile radius is is okay everything is still running so what do you do you leave you pack up all your shit and you take off and you just you know throw everything in a u-haul and take off if the u-haul works but uh <coughs> what's up so that that's how you kind of have to look at it think about that you know an invading force of of, of uh, North Korean frogmen attack our shores <laughs> yeah they're, they're a majority of people are gonna run uh, but a lot of us are gonna stand and fight yes but what if you can't? What if something it's, it's something that you can't fight? I mean, you know, that's what's up. So, say the sea level starts rising and rising and rising and rising, and you know, next thing you know, the the ocean is at your front steps. You know, <laughs> you're you're taking a shower with sharks. <laughs> what do you do? So you got to you got to get out. You got you got to leave. And we know that's happened because there's, we we found stuff underwater, we found whole cities underwater. So we know this works. We we know how this 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 is a very dynamic. It can be a very dynamic world, uh, from time to time. And it's been it's been proven. So, uh, yeah, something to think about. Something to think about. How would you get all your stuff, all your preps, all your gear, all your family and friends and loved ones, all your dogs and cats and pigs and chickens? Or, you know, what, what, is, what is an acceptable loss? Is there an acceptable loss? You know what I mean? Can, can you just say, you know what, I'm taking everything. Get me an 18-wheeler and just throw everything in it. You know, it's not a bad idea. Uh... You know, as 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 preppers or whatever, you know, we always game stuff. And uh, I don't know. Years ago, that that was the idea. It was like me and my me and my friends were just gonna get an eighteen wheeler because I knew somebody who had a CDL, and they're like, "Yeah, man, I'm just gonna get me an eighteen wheeler, and I'm just gonna go from place to place and fill it up." I was like, "You know, that's a good idea." But what about security? What about this? What about that? You know, I didn't think about that. I was like, "Yeah, you're just gonna." Yeah. You're just gonna walk into the joint, 
get what you want while everybody else is marauding. They're gonna, you're, you're, you're basically just gathering resources for them. And they're just gonna take it. <laughs> so security, you know, put something on top of the, the 18 wheeler, you know. Uh, but, but that's still a shit show too. But you know, if you had a mass exodus and you had that 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 contingency already set up. You know, you just pull the 18 wheeler up to your house and start start unloading, start you know, loading it up. See you later. Take off. You know, have a water, have a have a food, water, and gas resupply point. You know, and just roll out. See that that was the idea with this RV. Is that you know this this was what was going to carry most of the food, most of the water, most of the gear. You know, uh, and people that couldn't drive and, and and couldn't couldn't provide security, and then we would have a rear security and a and a and a and a, and a forward forward security, and we rolled out with comms and you know, treat and do this like a, a you know, just get mobile with it, and uh, a lot of you a lot of you contractors know about that shit too, and uh, you know doing roadblocks and. You know, making sure that nobody rolls up on you and, and just haul ass, you know, to to the to the to the bug out location or whatever. Uh, so you can do that with eighteen wheeler. You can do that with RV. Uh, you can do that with just a bunch of cars. You know, and just and just set that up. But I'm doing it by myself. <laughs> so I've already set up. I'm gonna go see my mom. You know, I might go see some other folks, uh, you know, even though it's a 10 hour drive, I, I want to, I want to get there, get there as, as, as safely as possible with all my shit. And plus, you know, so it's an opportunity to stop by and say, Hey, how you doing? <laughs> uh, so... Yeah, that's what's up. I just want to turn this into kind of like a, you know, like a like a, a prepping thing, you know. Uh, what what if you had the mass exodus? You know, I mean, you cannot no long you can no longer stay at your home. Nobody in your neighborhood can. To do so would be certain death. What do you do? How would you do that? I mean, I, that's that's another. That's not a bug out. That's a exodus. That's a Diddy Mao Imshi Yada Imshi kind of kind of idea. You know, that that kind of scenario. So, uh, just something to think about. You know, something to think about. And yeah, it's it's your home that you worked hard for. It's your homestead that you've that you've spent countless freaking years developing. I mean, you know, your your apple trees have just started to bear fruit, and then bam! Oh shit! Really, man? Fire fr falling from the sky, and you know, the dead are walking. I mean, <laughs> what the fuck? The air itself is toxic. What do you do? You know, what do you do? <laughs> Cigarettes. Hmm. I ain't gonna be around much. So, some stuff to think about. I'm gonna leave it at that, you know. Until next time, this is Mad Shad. I'm urging you to stay prepared, get prepared, and stay prepared because it is a mad, mad world out there. <laughs>